So, so the current series of work, and this is all stuff that happened in 2006, 2007. It started with a painting called Imminent uh, Collapse. And you can see there's a person who's sort of stuck in this foundation. And that obviously had to do uh, with the uh, economic crash of 2008. There's even a quote on there by Alan Greenspan talking about a lot of froth in the housing market. And I know for a lot of us, so many of us got hurt. And to me, I know a lot of people got stuck in, in crap mortgages and stuff like that. And I wanted to paint something that addressed that, that there was just a lot of heavy emotion of people who felt trapped. A lot of, a lot of people who felt like they, they were immobile and that was, uh, that became imminent collapse. Um, the second piece uh, after that was uh, what's keeping you awake. And this was thematically going back to a lot of my earlier works. Uh, how do we deal with uh, big data and information overload uh, to the point where you almost feel like you're becoming zombified about it. And uh, you know, you're just, you're just kind of caught in this whole thing. You're, you're also stuck, but whereas imminent collapse, you're stuck in a very like concrete foundation. Um, in this particular case, you're stuck uh, because of something that is flowing and intangible. Uh, how do you describe the internet? You're basically finding yourself in the same situation, except uh, not physical, but almost mental, uh, almost uh, technological, something that you can't see, but you can feel, um, you know? And, and so both those pieces sort of became uh, companion pieces to one another. And then after that, you know, I told Jay, I was like, I'm gonna go, I told him, Jamie, I said, I'm gonna go like really, uh, like, <laughs> I, I'm gonna go really minimalist. I'm gonna bring out my Trent Reznor and, and go all nine inch nails. But as it turns out, I'm terrible at uh, minimalism. So I had to, <laughs> so I ended up just, I, I started with these sort of minimalistic ideas and then eventually they kept growing and growing. And, and then it became almost like the yang to the uh, pieces that I had done, the yin, uh, which I called by pieces from 2011 to 2013. You know, what happens after 9-11? What happens after the big revelation? And then you're trying to deal with all this information. And that became this new series, uh, which I call The Politics of a Post-Traumatic World, which, um, you know, I'm not big into like big, long, pretentious titles, but I couldn't think of a better way to describe this. Um, it just felt like uh, a lot of these pieces, and a lot of them are just illustrations, um, because the idea is I just need to get them out uh, faster than I can compose them. Um, and illustrations work really well for that as opposed to a big giant painting. But um, the idea that um, how do we process um, information after a traumatic event? Um, and, you know, I, I, I have, I've read uh, The Black Swan and Antifragile and uh, Thinking Fast and Slow and recently became just very fascinated by how we perceive events. And so it, it just seemed to me like a natural fit for art. Like, okay, so we know that we kind of find ourselves caught in these monumental, you know, shifts of thought and ideas. How do you paint that? How do you, how do you visually show that so someone else can connect with it? And so these characters and these pieces, uh, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of writing. There's a lot of uh, actual information now on the paintings, uh, on the work. Um, so it's part collage, it's part painting, it's part illustration. It's it's I use indie ink, I use acrylics. I mean, whatever I can throw on that thing um, to get the message across. That's that's what happens. And so what you end up having is, is a, a lot of pieces that are just very fun with sort of these hidden cryptic messages uh, about uh, nation building or about Buddhism or uh, just about anything, really. I mean, you, you look hard enough, you'll find them in these works. And that was, that was intentional because I feel like now we're, we, like Inception, we don't really know what layer of the dream we're living in right now. And, and so if these pieces can sort of you know, capture that sort of feeling of uncertainty, but at the same time, um, allow for some solace um, and to be able to say, well, you know, it's okay, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out, then, then I think it did my job.